Okay. I'm going to count down from five. Start on go. Uh, you'll only hear my voice, so feel free to adjust the Twitch volume if I'm too loud for you. And we'll have a discussion uh, after the end of the episode. Please don't spoil anything if you've already seen it, for those who haven't seen it. And uh, enjoy the show. All right. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. They're really leaning into the fact that uh, <laughs> Texas <laughs> just eats Pocky all the time. Yeah, I don't... I wonder if the Sangta is also partially inspired by Switzerland. I've always gotten a bit of a Swiss vibe. Because Switzerland, there's a lot of guns in Switzerland. Everybody has a gun in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, th this isn't a cigarette. It's a lollipop that I'm sucking so fast. It's uh, smoking. <laughs> that Gintama clip is great. Yes, the Tom Scott video on the, uh, but it's, it's impossible to hit the highway because the line of sight makes it so you can't actually see, see on the highway. But it's very interesting. Yeah, the gun range fires over the top of a highway for sniper training. No, it, so you f it fires from the ground into a cliffside where they've put up some targets. But because of the, the line of sight from the firing range from the bunker, you can't actually see the highway. Yeah, it's a very interesting video. Tom Scott makes some amazing stuff. Uh, Tom Scott video in the world of Arknights. This city moves. <laughs> that would be the title of a video. And then it'd be behind the scenes, right in the belly of the city, explaining how it moves. The round the clock care that it takes. All the energy that goes into it. <laughs> I'm guessing Gladia doesn't sleep. <laughs> That's right, to let him drive the city.
Ixia, where's skill three? Skill three! They'll be dead in two seconds. Exia literally did nothing. Where's her gun? Like, you should... I wasn't paying attention, but... Did she have a gun on her back or a belt or anything? Texas OP. <laughs> She's already revealed her alt power. Something's happening. Finally.
Hey, it's this one. All right, if you could just kill Misha, then we could get this boring character out of the show, please. Just kill her off. Thank you. Why would they need to fall back? We've seen before that they absolutely wreck these people. It's very inconsistent in the capabilities of, of these characters. And then the villains just stop chasing. Like they're just standing around. Brilliant plan, X here. <laughs> Now the enemies move. God. It's like everything seems a bit too choreographed for people to get away. <laughs> so let me get this right. You expect the perpetual cripple that is the doctor to make the jump. And the little girl with the broken leg. <laughs> oh, they, they didn't show us the run. You, you gotta, you gotta give us the doctor being a total doof trying to do that jump. <laughs> And now suddenly the, the girl can run, despite hobbling along 30 seconds ago. And once again, if they can make it, so can you. Just jump. <laughs> you don't need to stop, for God's sake. The, the jump was shortened by two planks of wood. If a cripple can make it, you can make it. <laughs> oh my god.
Every time they stop to talk to this, this little girl, it's like a waste of time. Already know this. We already know all of this. Yeah, that's a problem we've had for this entire show. There has never been a sense of urgency except for two minutes when Tallulah was on screen. Yeah, I, d I just don't understand, like, they're just casually strolling through the street. Everything is just very casual and slow. They're all, like, super cheerful. This does not feel like a dangerous world at all.
the one thing I do like is how they, they all mock uh, Amiya for just being a bunny girl. <laughs> Even in the world of Arknights, being a bunny girl isn't cool. <laughs> okay, so that's the episode. Well. That was boring. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. Like, I've tried to be optimistic i've tried to to say oh you know once they get the exposition out of the way which they were doing very poorly it'll get better they'll increase the pace because before the pace was constantly crippled by stopping for big exposition dumps but now it's not exposition dumps it's just nothing they'll do 30 seconds of action and then they'll stop to talk to that useless Misha character. And then the, just same thing. We had, what, four, five scenes of stopping to talk to her? Basically her just about how people are after her. She's sick. She's scared. She doesn't trust anyone. It's just the same thing. You just repeat, 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 repeat. It just doesn't stop. And um, hang on, let me just put some music on so that uh, it's a bit more... Interesting in the background. Um, yeah, it just keeps repeating the same boring crap. And then there's the the casual strolling through the streets. Like where where is the, the sense of urgency or any tension? There's there's just no tension in the show whatsoever. And the action scenes are like two seconds long, and it's always uh, the good guys just absolutely crush the enemies. Except when randomly they're like, we're not going to fight you, we're going to move. Now, the excuse is, Amiya said, let's try to avoid violence. Except if the enemies were acting realistically, they'd be on their tail until you took them out. Like, very easily catch up to you. But the enemies just so conveniently let the heroes go, give them, they're like, oh, we can't move yet. We have to, uh, by, by the laws of the plot armor, we have to give them a 10 minute head start. Even though we, we literally just saw them go up the stairs. Oh, uh, what? You, you jumped with a cripple from one building to another, which is, again, establishing... Uh, levels of physical strength that I guarantee you will be forgotten in future episodes. And then the villain who can walk around in this like much heavier gear carrying these two heavy guns can't jump because the jump is now one foot shorter. <laughs> it's just like, ugh, the, the, the contrivances. It, it honestly feels like the the plot progression and the way the scenarios are written are just written by someone who has got no idea how to plot a scene, how to have any sense of tension to progress the scene. The fact that the heroes get away is not the problem. That's not the issue, right? That's just where the story needs to go. The problem is that they get away by doing pretty much nothing. They get away because the enemies just conveniently let them get away. In At a level that you can't even suspend your disbelief at. It's not like, you know, in an action film, the hero runs through, you know, runs across the room and doesn't get hit by a bullet, right? In an action film, as long as you establish that's that, that kind of action film, then it's fine that the hero runs through and doesn't get hit by a bullet uh, as long as you keep it consistent, you know, and you establish that tone. This is meant to be serious, very grim worlds, everybody's suffering, everybody's dying, yet nothing feels tense or dangerous whatsoever. And the writers have no idea how to 
properly plot a scene that it just makes everything feel so flat and lifeless. The Arcanite's anime, if I had to sum it up in one word, is lifeless. It's such a lifeless show. It's just completely dead. I would be astonished if this anime brought in really any new players at all. The only players, the only new players that would stick is they come in, they just hear of the anime, and they go, oh, that's based on a game, I'll try out the game, and they, they get hooked on the game before they realize the anime is so boring. Yeah, and then it's just the characters are just casually chatting, casually strolling. You know, Exia's like all happy-go-lucky, which is fine within her personality, but it's like, where's the tension? And it's not as if she's doing anything crazy, like to, you know, she's not annihilating enemies and being happy about it. You know, she's not pulling a jinx or anything like that to make it make sense. She's just doing nothing apart from just casually walking around. We, oh, we desperately need to escape these enemies. Let's walk slower than I walked to the shops. Yeah, this anime is very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I would say so far, overall the series gets a 4 out of 10 from me. 4 out of 10. I was being a bit generous early on with the ratings because I thought, oh, you know, they're just establishing things. Things will pick up. But now that all of that exposition dumping was just to give us this, it's not worth it. I would not recommend the Arknights anime to anyone. Not even Arknights fans. I think it's... We're five episodes in. We've got three episodes to go. So far, it's a total waste of time. Yeah, it was. there was like one good scene maybe two good scenes so far in the entire show. That's it. And if you watch the the trailers for the events of Ark Knights, which I believe is done by the same studio, because it all looks the same, it's got the same visual style. If you look at those trailers, it gives the impression that Ark Knights is a fast paced, Tense action, you know, just real blood pumping anime. We've gotten none of that. Absolutely none of that. Not even 1% of the action and the, the tension displayed from the trailers. It's nothing. And I was concerned for the anime from the very first trailer. Because the very first trailer just showed us scenes of... Characters standing around, characters slowly walking, characters slowly talking. So... This anime sucks. Let's not be generous about it, just because we're fans of Ark Knights the game. And with every episode, my disappointment grows and my day is further ruined. Uh, Namaven we will see action in chapter 7 or 8 we've been saying we will see action since episode 1 oh we'll see action next episode oh we'll see action next episode oh we'll see action next episode and it never comes I would be very surprised if we get more than 2 minutes of action in the final episode Yeah, I think any of the side stories adapted would have been better than this. Oh, this, um, uh, what's it called? I think, I'm pretty sure the anime studio that does this is, isn't the anime studio that does this, like, owned by the parent company of Arknights? Yeah, it's the, the the problem is not that it's not the problem isn't that it's not action heavy. That's not the issue, right? My favorite anime of all time is Legend of the Galactic Heroes, and uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes is ninety five percent 
dialogue. Just people talking with, you know, very little animation because it's a very long series with a very limited budget. So they put the quality into the individual stills rather than the animation, right? It's 110 episodes, 95% dialogue, best anime of all time. And that series is absolutely spectacular. So it's, Arknights doesn't need more action. I'm saying Arknights should have more action because the story is crap and the writing sucks. So if they at least had some cool action, that could be kind of fun. But we've got no action and really boring characters in really boring dialogue with atrocious pacing. The pacing is the absolute worst aspect of this show. Uh, yeah, Legend of the Galactic Heroes would have taken forever. And then there's the the, the side stories, the, the side seasons and, and all that. I think there's like five, six bits of side content, some of which go for a full season. So um, yeah, there's a ton of content for, for that franchise. Uh, the remake is more accessible, but if you like anything at all about the remake, just go and watch the original. The remake is just a simplified version of the original to make it less complicated for a, a wider audience. I love the music though on the uh, on the remake. I do enjoy the remake, but uh, you will not get the full experience without watching the original. Oh my god, my arm's disappearing. <clears throat> yeah, it's the the problem with the Arknights anime is that outside of the audio visual, there is nothing redeemable about it. The audio visual is is great. The uh, sound design is better than most anime, and the animation and the art quality is better than most anime. Like it's of a surprisingly high quality. Like they they did not cheap out, which quite often the uh, quite often with you know, uh, game to anime adaptations they just go low budget put in no effort in, in the uh, animation department the voice acting is worse than the source material even with the same voice actors you know, usually it's just you know, these adaptations are just nothing um, so they really did put some actual effort into this but they just did not have good writers. Just, just you need you just need better writers. Everything that's happened so far in these five episodes is two episodes of content at most. At most. And if they were forced, here's this. This is why. Um, whenever you're, if you're ever interested in, in creating stories of your own, uh, don't give yourself unlimited space, unlimited time, unlimited space, unlimited scope. Limitations are what make you better at creating stories because when you have limitations, that's when you make the most of every little bit that you have. So imagine if they were told they had to, to do the same story that we've gotten so far in two episodes, think about what they would have cut. Why does my thing keep glitching? I keep hearing this like buzz, this buzz in my ear. If they had only two episodes to do this level of content, think about what they would have cut, how they would have changed it, how they would have increased the pace. It would have been so much better if they had some restrictions on this. Yeah. And another thing I've heard people say, oh, is like, oh, this is, you know, it's being true to the source material. Well, the so let's, let's be honest. The source material sucks. The first several chapters of the Ark Knights game, the story is terrible. It is so boring. I, I honestly reckon that most people in Arknights don't read the story. I'd say 99% of people who play don't read story because of how crap 
the early story is in this game. So, and I don't know why you'd want to repeat the same garbage over here. You'd, I would take it as an opportunity to, to improve it. I can't imagine they've gotten they've gotten a, any positive feedback about the early story. I mean, it is a faithful adaptation. That's very true, Acerol. It is a 10 out of 10 in terms of faithfulness. But, uh... That's a... Faithfully adapting 3 out of 10 material. I think it would have... Personally, I think it would have been better to just do a season of a side story. Just do a season of Undertides. The focus is on Scardi, Spectre, you know, two very popular characters. Scardi, Spectre, Gladia. You got yourself a bunch of cool characters that are very popular. You got a cool story. It'll fit into one season. Make it a horror anime. Bam. That, that'll grab people. The, you don't need the bigger world building. You don't need to worry about a thousand characters from the Ark Knights universe. You don't need to worry about all these different nations and everything. It's just very simple. You just got a Lovecraftian horror story. 12 episodes. Done. Done. Oh no. This is being... Acerola, this... They didn't have free reign with this. I guarantee you, the Ark Knights studio had huge oversight on this, which is why it's so faithfully, such a faithful adaptation of the, uh, the source material. There was so many ways they could have... If they were insistent upon adapting this part of the story, there are so many ways they could have done it... done it better. Where... It could have been interesting. They could have... upped the pace. When you're adapting the less interesting parts of the story, that's where you bring in the interesting character aspects, you bring in the interesting bits of world building. You know, you can shift the focus to other parts to make up for slower moments in the story. But what they've done is they've focused on the slow moments and filled them with filler. So it's, it's like the worst of both worlds. Yeah. It would have been better if they'd done a series either of Neo Light or of um, the, you could have done the Maria Nurl event, you could have done Undertides there are so many series they could have done yeah it's very, it's very disappointing I didn't have the highest hopes for this anime but it still disappointed me. Yeah, I don't I don't see the next three episodes being much of an improvement, to be honest. I mean, what are they gonna do? Next episode is going to be more of Misha walking around, kind of doing nothing. They'll probably bring back Chen for a bit. So we're gonna have another discussion about the Lungman situation versus everybody else. 
yeah, nothing's going to happen, to be honest. When is it in the... Which, which... I don't remember. Which chapter is it where you do that stage where you use the, the level 3 units? The, the, the 2s and 3 stars to beat W. We have that pre-made team. Which chapter is that in? That's, that's the end of, of a particular chapter. Is it chapter 3? Or chapter 2? Wait, hang on. It's in chapter 1. Hang on. Let me get this straight. What could have been an action scene against W with a bunch of these characters... They skipped it? So, let me see if I understand you right. You have a moment in the story where you could have an actual action scene with some tension, W just killing half the three stars, just make a cannon that half the three stars die, right? Just kill off Catapult and Popcar, just get them out of my life forever. And you skip that in favor of another five scenes of Misha just being p pathetically weak and hobbling around. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought we weren't even up to that part, and I was thinking, they might say that that might be the season finale. You know, they'll, they'll have that as the season finale. It's the end of chapter three, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> And then they did bother to show us W, but she shows up for like two seconds and just goes, no, nah, I'll let you guys leave very conveniently like everybody else. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's even worse than it's even worse than you think when you think about the, the bits that they could they could have used from the source material. That wouldn't break the adaptation if they had absolutely insisted on it. I mean, that's just too funny. It's too funny. <laughs> Oh, man. All they need, they just need one competent rider, and this could be fixed. Because you don't need a rider to create new material. Right? You don't need someone who's got a good idea, who's got, you know, this, this great story, this great untold story. You've already got the source material there. You just need someone who can, who can take what's there and just fix it. Which begins by uh, improving the pacing. Yeah, and then, that's right, there was the, the Ace Sacrifice, which they just slotted in at what felt like, like it was out of place, like the editor accidentally put it in the wrong spot and forgot to move it. He was like, oh, I need to edit this bit, I'm just going to take this scene, you know, just drag it on the timeline out of the way, and I'll move it back later once I've fixed this little bit, and he just forgot to move it back. And then he went render, uh, send to Crunchyroll stream. And uh, didn't check to see if all the scenes were in the right order. It's very weird. Very, very weird.
Ah, well, we'll have to wait and see. My hopes at this point are bottom of the barrel, absolute bottom of the barrel for the quality of this show going forward. Okay, uh, let's get into Edge Runners. Now we want to watch something of opposite quality, something great. So we're going to get into Edge Runners. Uh, let me just update.